Hello and welcome to Midweek on Brian Span. On this edition, it's the last show of the year, so we'll run down a few holiday and New Year's reminders. Plus, we'll take a look back at some highlights from 2014. So let's get right to it. First, the Fort Meade Visitor Center at Reese Road Gate will be closed from December 25th through the 28th, and again from December 31st through January 4th. Visitors to Fort Meade should proceed to the inspection station to the right of the gate during the closures. Elsewhere, the Kimber Ambulatory Care Center is closed December 25th and 26th, as well as January 1st and 2nd. Additionally, Kimber will be closed for training on January 16th and for the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on the 19th. In other news, the Legal Center needs volunteers to man the Tech Center for this season. Training takes place January 5th through the 9th. For more information, call 301-677-9755. Meanwhile, MWR has several notes to pass along. Registration for the annual Dump Your Plump competition is underway. Get your team together or compete as an individual. For more information, just stop by the Gaffney Fitness Center or call 301-677-7916. The Arts and Crafts Center is hosting a holiday-themed crafts day for the entire family. It's coming up Christmas Eve from 1030 to noon. Call 410-575-4224 for details. The Lanes are hosting a New Year's Eve celebration. There's a family party scheduled for 5 to 8 p.m. and a primetime party from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Reservations are required. Call 301-677-5541 today. Leisure Travel Services kicks off 2015 with their first trip to New York City on January 10th. These one-day trips fill up fast. Call 301-677-7354. And finally, better opportunities for single service members are going skiing at Smuggler's Notch, Vermont, January 16th through the 19th. There are payment plans available. See your boss representative for more information. And finally, on this edition, a brief look back at some scenes from 2014. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a happy holiday season and a great Mead week. Winter's icy grip continues this week. Fort Meade's Canadian geese population, present all year round, probably wishes it had gone south this year. We had two systems come through this week with a forecast on Monday for more snow. Special guest speakers included Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley. Colonel Foley talked about the mission of Dinfos and how public affairs impacts the war fighting mission. The team, which features area wounded warriors, including some from the Fort Meade Warrior Transition Unit, practices once a week in Rockville, Maryland, and competes nationwide in tournaments and charity games. Colonel Brian Foley and Garrison Command Sergeant Major Thomas Ladder signed Fort Meade Sexual Awareness Month proclamation just before this morning's community run. 80 Fort Meade kids were invited to participate in pregame ceremonies, and opening day 2014 was extra special as the Orioles celebrated their 60th anniversary of playing baseball in Baltimore. Sarah Bonice, the acting director of Child, Youth and School Services, directing some young volunteers last week in breaking ground on two new child development centers. New Command Sergeant Major Rodwell Forbes, most recently the Command Sergeant Major of the 72nd Expeditionary Signal Battalion in Schweinfurt, Germany, looked to the future. Yeah. Yeah. I watched you last Thursday. Did you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. You were awesome. Hey guys, I appreciate it, buddy. I try hard. We said we still want to go even if it's at our own expense. So I emailed them and said, hey, you know, the United States is not going to officially sponsor a team. Can I organize a team? We wanted one of the panels to display the Peace of the World Trade Center, to show what happened on that day or to commemorate what happened on that day. With the intersection of 175 and Rockenbach Road just completed, the widening will extend from Disney Road down to Reese Road. Today my wife is actually being surprised by Lady Antebellum. She was um, entered into the Lady Antebellum 747 contest and my sister-in-law put it all together for her and she won. also be a big uh, morale booster and that's the biggest benefit of all time. It's a big upgrade from the previous one. It's more open um, and they've got more places to eat so it's a good upgrade. I just like that everything's more condensed. You know, you're not having to drive all over different places to get to uh, what you need done. Those are my brothers. There would be nothing that they wouldn't do for me off the field that they wouldn't do on the field. 